All right, guys, Jay here. Uh, just with my GNU that I just listed, uh, lots of questions about it. So I figured I might as well just make a quick video and uh, throw it out there for you guys to answer any of those questions. Uh, sorry if I haven't gotten back to you yet. I will do so if I haven't, but here you go. Uh, starting up here at the bow, I uh, got a new nose piece from GNU uh, two weeks ago with the Minn Kota uh, quick release on it as well. It does have a brand new power drive. Uh, with iPilot, uh, 12 volt, 55 pound thrust. Uh, and everything's wired into the front here. Casting uh, deck area here, new C deck underneath. Measure, uh, C deck measuring strip over there. Um, Yeti cooler can strap down up front here as well as a casting platform. Um, so if you wanted to use it that way, double it, double it up or get it your own casting platform. It does have the tie downs for it. Um, moving from this direction, we do have two fly rod holders here on each side. Um, each one has the Sherlock release on them, uh, holds it nice and tight, keeps it away from the frame. As you can see that space right in there, that's really important. You don't want it banging up against there. Uh, rowers frame while we're on it, custom made for this boat specifically. It's tied down in the back there. Um, really nice little spot to row. Um, you can use this center brace here as a foot brace while you're rowing. Speaking of rowing, square top oars, brand new. Um, Sawyers, they're Dynalites, they're great. Hard to come by right now, so nice to have them on board. If you had to buy another one, you'd have to wait months, uh, apparently. Um, grab bar there in the middle. Uh, I do say grab bar, not necessarily lean bar, um, just because you know that's just not what it's set up for. Uh, I do have it strapped to mid and to uh, the stern here. Um, it is super stable though, uh, no issues there. I just like to double up for safety. Um, makes it just rock solid there. Uh, it is removable, so you can pull it out of here if you didn't want it, you can have that there. Um, there are a few other attachments you can buy specifically for this. New C deck here throughout, um, as you can see, running down the middle edges, uh, keeps padding, keeps from wear spots on the sides for the uh, rower's frame. Um, that used to be the seat there. This is what I would just call the other, the stern casting deck area. Um, all electrics ran right down in through here. So you can see all the way up through that way. Uh, brand new battery underneath. Switch right here for the uh, lights. Um, and then you have a brand new gas can and line there. Um, there are tie downs for your oars back here. Uh, that way when you're traveling with them, they sit really nice in here. Uh, these are the spacers for the jack plate as well. Uh, I don't think I listed that online. Comes with a jack plate, you're welcome. Uh, so these are the jack plate spacers for your brand new engine. 20 horsepower Honda electric start tilt and trim. Uh, all the nice bells and whistles. The boat's rated for a 25, um, but to get to the 25, you have to add a whole nother cylinder. You're adding weight, didn't want it. Um, everybody was saying, hey, get the 15 to the 20. Uh, and I agree, I think that will be a good thing. Uh, when I say brand new engine, I do mean, mean brand new engine has not even seen the water yet. If you do buy this boat, you need to do the break in on it. Um, it is fully warranted and everything else from the shop. Uh, there's the oil down there. Comes with a tiller extension handle as well. So when you're cruising up here, you can reach back with the throttle, no problem. Um, and then we'll also uh, include the uh, monitor, the engine monitor for the hours. I have not installed that yet, so that's still on my one to-do list there. Um, like I said, really solid boat. Um, oh, also have the uh, new tie-downs here. Um, the ratchets, those things are sweet on and off, super easy with the uh, trailer. Um, new tires, uh, both sides, along with a spare up there, um, and new light kit throughout the trailer. And super clean boat. Um, it is a used boat. I bought it for um, just to do this project with uh, more or less. But as you can see, it's you know nice and shiny and waxed and everything else like that. Um, underside does have some scrapes and scratches. Uh, nothing huge that I found. Um, yeah, so any other questions, let me know. If you need any further pictures, let me know. Um, lots of interest in this, guys. So yeah, get a hold of me. Cheers.